Hi, this is Worf, and today I'm going to be teaching you the basics of Flash CS3. Uh, all you have to do right now is open up Flash CS3, and you should see this welcome screen. I want to explain the mechanics of the tutorial. Uh, up above you see a large mouse, and this is the zoom up, the close up of what's going on on the bottom of the screen, which is the actual 100% um, view of the flash environment. So when you click on flash and open it, you should come up to this welcome screen. And in the welcome screen you have three categories. Open a recent item, create new, create from template. We don't want to do that. We, we want to uh, create a new flash document. The way we do that is to click on flash file action script 3. Um, for those who don't actually even have the welcome screen, what we want to do is go to your edit, and within your edit, you want to scroll down to preferences. Within preferences, you want to go to general, and general. when you're in general, the first option is on launch. Right now, mine is set to welcome screen, and they give you other options uh, to no document, new document, last documents open, welcome screen. What you want to do is click on the welcome screen. And once you're done with that, there is a button below that says OK, but because of my screen real estate, you won't be able to see that. Th but just press OK, and you should see this welcome screen. So once you see the welcome screen, click on flash file, action script, see action script 3. And we should see this layout. We have our tools to the side. We have our timeline here. We see all these numbers and rectangles. And over to the far right, we have our icons, which are color, swatches, library. Um, if you don't see, and we have our properties below. If you don't see this, then that means that the workspace has been changed or altered. You can see here, uh, select uh, workspace layout. And if you click here, a drop down menu should come down and it has default. And when you click on default, it'll go back to its property or its factory settings. And you just see all the things that I have on screen. So whatever I have, you should have now by changing that. But for some people, it may not. You may not even have the option here to select a workspace. So if that ever happens to you, you're going to go to Window, and in Window, you want to go down to Workspace, and click on Default, and it should come up. Everything should be in its place. Right now, I'm just going to close or collapse a few items that are in the way and the way you do this is right now we're on properties if we click on properties double click it will go down to a flat bar which is uh, really helpful and let's go over to the icons over here and we see this fast forward button which will collapse the icons to a more manageable uh, state let's get into the tools. I'm going to expand this so you can better see the tools of uh, Flash. So let's get into them. This here is the selection tool. This is the sub selection tool. This is the free transform tool which will allow you to alter the size and uh, height width of your movie. This is your lasso tool. Your pen tool and when you have, um, if you could see at the corner, there's a small triangle. When you click and hold, a drop down menu will come up because when you have a small triangle at the bottom, this means that there are other items within that tool. So up here on the free transform, if we click on it, we also have the gradient uh, transform tool. Let's move on to other items. We have our pencil tool we have our brush tool, ink bottle tool, paint bucket tool, eye drop tool, erase tool, hand tool, zoom tool, 
and here we have our stroke color and our fill color. If you don't know the difference, I'll explain it in a moment. Here, down below, we have black and white, which when you click on changes your uh, stroke and fill to black and white. We have swap colors, which allows you to change the colors. So if you did have by if you did by accident maybe pick the stroke color for the fill color, you can switch them around, and that helps you out. And we have here the no color, which eliminates a color if you don't want it to be there. And I'll explain that in a moment. So let's look at the stage. What is the stage? The stage is this white rectangle that we have in here. This white rectangle is what your audience or user will see. Um, and the gray area is what your audience or user will not see. This is the off stage area. This is a huge area and it's easy to get lost um, by scrolling away and you won't be able to find it. So let's let's say if we go all the way down. Now our, our stage is nowhere to be found. We only have gray area. The way to get back to that is we have a section to the right and below the timeline which is gives you the zoom and some presets that will help you out. Uh, such as show frame. If we click on show frame it brings us right back to the stage where we want. Yeah. Up above we have our timeline. Our timeline is in layers and frames. We only have one layer in this timeline and we only have one frame. These numbers indicate what frame um, I'm currently on and right now I'm on frame 1. If I click in that if I click this single frame, you see that the layer gets highlighted and the frame gets highlighted. So in this stage right now, we're on frame one and layer one. So whatever we draw stays essentially inside of this small rectangle, which represents the frame and the layer it's on. So this is our timeline. This is what we'll be using to create animation. And also we're going to be putting action script later on inside of the frame. Over here let's look at the icons. This is color. And when you click on it a color palette comes up. And we have almost um, some identical things that we saw inside of the tools. We have our stroke color and our fill color. We have the uh, black and white. We have the no color we have switch color. We have uh, a little bit more options here where you can get a specific color and you can change the contrast. And we also have alpha. So within the colors you have more options. Down here we have the swatches where we have where we can pick uh, specific colors. And we have down here the library this is where all the items that we create will be going. So this was an introduction and right now we know exactly where everything is. So in the next tutorial we're going to be using some of those tools and creating some shapes on the stage and learning about vectors and uh, strokes and fills. So until next time, thanks for watching on Enter Flash to Swarf and don't forget to visit my website on enterflash.blogspot.com where everything will be explained and uh, it goes into more details and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thanks for watching